Hey, morning, bring a trailer. John Seibel here with Seibel's Auto Warehouse, Freeport, Pennsylvania. Ending today in about five hours is our 1984 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. Wanted to bring you a walk around video, cool start video, drive video. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about this car, talking about this car. It's a really, really nice preserved example of a 16,000 mile 84 Chevy Caprice. So, we're gonna go do the walk around here on it and pretty much to show you what we can tell you about it. Um, we metered the car, we've checked the car over. We've actually known, the gentleman we got it from, known the car since the day it was new in 1984 when it was ordered from Graviac. So, um, you know, we can't find any signs of paint work. The paint meter's out the whole way really nice. The bumper fillers on the car are factory and original which uh, on these GMs are really unheard of. So, but give you a quick walk around here. Uh, this car was rust proof, new. You've never really spent any time in the inclement weather, so it's very preserved. But really nice car, and you can probably barely see it, but there's a couple spots on the tops like we mentioned. They just have some dark spots in the paint right there um, on the tops. The factory style chrome air deflectors there. Two-tone paint, a Merlot on the top with a deeper burgundy on the bottom. Made a couple little things like some stone chips that have been touched up over the years. They're right there. going through right back here in the filler looks like a couple little to small touch up chips little fade spot right in the corner of the deck lid right there emblems are all in nice shape of course the old gas door flip down really slight little pinstripe peel on the back corner right there Other than that, I mean, for being 39 years old in Western PA, this car is a, just a really, really amazing example all the way around. Um, tires have been replaced in its life before. Cracked doors. Interior is just impeccable. In a, every sense of the word. Headliner's got a very little sag to it. Really typical GM of this era. into the trunk the original option sticker right in the under the deck lid there but what's really cool I mean high documentation I mean the thank you letter from Graviac the original retail bill of sale but even down to all the hand wrote manila paper selections of exactly exactly how this guy wanted this car spec built done I mean, the rust proofing in there, everything, the steel shield warranty paperwork, the warranty information with the Gray B Act envelope, the original temporary registration. But really cool is 
like right on the buyer's order. Car must have windshield antenna or customers are not obligated to take it. And all refunds deposit or de all deposits refunded. So, I mean, he was very, very specific, even on down to the buyer's order on exactly how he was specking it out and gauge package, rear defroster, the that F41 suspension. He knew exactly how he wanted his car and exactly what he wanted to get, and he didn't want to alter that in any any way, shape, or form, so. We do not have the original window sticker. Unfortunately, uh, the family was unable to locate it, but, you know, this is uh, about as documented as you're gonna find a 84 Chevy Caprice anywhere in the country. Original owner's manual, hubcap lock, in an old school can Advil. Going over here, I mean, he optioned the car out, really plush interior, crank windows, tilt wheel, all the rust proofing plugs in the rockers and the C, uh, C pillars, B pillars, A pillars doors just uh, very well preserved under the hood the original 5.0 liter 305 V8 everything works in this car everything drives well in this car uh, as you'll see when we do the drive video but this car, you know, can really be jumped in, driven. If you want to go to California from here with it, I wouldn't be afraid to use this car to take that trip. So, um, it was recently inspected, 9:23 PA. Uh, oil was changed. So, I'm gonna fire it up while you're under the hood there. Split bench seat, flip down armrest, rear defroster, manual mirrors, original lighter, never been used, never been smoked in, no odors, smells, air's blowing cool on it, it's a little chilly this morning, but it's there, cassette, AM, FM. I'm at the Kentucky Derby working for NBC, sandwiched in between my gig and there's the antenna right in the windshield. Glass, we had some questions. Glass is flawless. No chips, cracks, nothing like that. The original clock in working condition. Got the fuel economy pack. Gas gauge, obviously, 16,145 miles. This is our kind of test drive. We're, me and my cameraman, we're both pretty big dudes, although he lost three quarters of himself. 6'4", um, fit 
just perfect in this car. Great road car. Like I said uh, earlier in the video here, wouldn't hesitate jumping in this car, going to Southern California to buy our next load of cars tomorrow. The weather finally broke loose here in Western PA. This whole week we wanted to do a video and shoot this car. And, uh, I mean, doesn't pull, nothing going up and down the road. Accelerates perfect. Nice little run up the hill there. One thing also on this car, chrome, stainless work, everything that's on this car, really, really good condition. Even the rear view mirror is nice, not faded around the edges or peeling or any of that. Even down into the steering wheel, the wood grain trim the whole way around the wheel. Not broken, chipped, anything. Dash pad, beautiful. And a guy, gentleman called me, asked me specifically about that. You can see no fade, no cracking. Really enjoyable car to drive. Just nothing, nothing drives like these old GM boats. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't spend more time in this car. But weather, winter time, Western PA, we don't, we don't drive any of this stuff. We gotta wait for the weather to break. Well, there you have it, folks. We put three miles on it, 16,148, and our test drive back here. Um, auction ends today, Friday, uh, but I believe it's 2 p.m. Pacific. It might be a little later. Um, well, I mean, 2 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, any questions, feel free to ask in the seller comments there. Shoot us a message and an email on the contact seller feature. Um, somebody's going to get a great car. Somebody's going to get a real showpiece, uh, you know, mid-80s GM Caprice that's been very well preserved throughout the years. So we're looking forward to a good, exciting end of the auction. And if you have anything that uh, you'd like to add, we'd appreciate it in the comments. Thank you and have a good day.